everybody. Today is just a quick office break workout that uh, all you need is a wall. So you're going to take your feet about hip width apart. You're going to lean back on the wall and just walk forward so that your feet are about a foot away from the wall. We want to start our squats by letting your hips flex. You want to be far enough away that you can keep your sacrum, your ribs and shoulder blades and head gently touching the wall as you slide down. This is a great way to squat. It's helping if you have knee issues, keeps your knees a little more centered over top of your ankle. Also using the wall to come up to get a little deeper core activation, such as when you stand, you press down with your feet and think of lifting up with your abdominals. And we go down with the breath. Exhale, press down with your feet and lift up. Good, smooth to go down. Even put your thumbs here into the crease of your hips and can you feel your hips flexing? Even though you're neutral on the wall, in with thought, more of a thought than a thing, visualize your sit bones just are reaching back to the wall. All right, so we're gonna go down and hold it. Are you ready? Here we go, we're gonna take it down and we're gonna hold. Now just take your arms and circle them up and keep your abdominals drawn in and exhale down. Good. And circle your arms up, breath in. A little distraction from our legs. But part of the challenge is as you're taking your arms up is keeping your ribs in. So using the wall is wonderful feedback so that you always know where your body is in space. One more time. Taking your arms up and bringing your arms down and stand all the way up and shake it out. Good. Bring your feet a little bit closer together and they're going to come now about four inches from the wall and we're just going to rise up to your toes and come back down. Now same thing as you're gliding up the wall, feel that same lift coming through your abdominals. So we're going up and what I think about is pushing the floor away with my forefoot and my toes. If you tend to lock out your knees, I'd like you to soften them just a little bit. So it's not a full bend, but you just want to relax the joint a little bit so that there's a little more ease of movement and less tension in your thighs. Now, if you do Pilates with me, one of the exercises we do on the reformer is called running or prancing. So we can do the same thing. Now, again, the wall is giving you some feedback. Are you keeping your pelvis stable? If you shifting in your hips, you're going to feel your hips sliding along the wall. So as you push up to your toes, we want to feel that lift come into your abdominals and also that subtle activation in your side hip. So we go down and up, down and up. Inhale, four, two. Exhale, four, two. We'll do one more breath cycle. Inhale. And exhale, four, two. Good, bring it down and shake your legs up. Nice work. Now keep your feet in the same place so they're about four inches from the wall. And we'll take a little breath in. Knees are relaxed. And you're going to start to peel forward using your abdominals. Let your knees bend. And you feel your, your sit bones to slide up the wall a little bit. Let your head hang. Knees are soft. Take a breath in. And now use your abdominals to bring yourself up. So if you felt like you were going to fall over, it may be that you're a little stiffer in your spine. And you can either just change your range of motion, only go as far as you have balance, or step your feet a little bit further forward. Take a breath. As you exhale, each vertebra goes up and over. Let your knees soften and really lift from your abdominals. Let your head and arms hang, knees are as soft as what feels good for you. Take a breath in and exhale, contract your abdominals to roll all the way up. Oh, what a nice stretch. I bet if you've been working at your desk for hours, that feels so good. Let's do that again. Breath in, each vertebra up and over. Find your abdominals right away, scooping as you round forward. Head heavy, take a breath and exhale to roll all the way up and stay. Wonderful. So we're going to turn sideways and just like uh, find a scissor position. So I have my inside foot forward. 
And we're going to let your inside arm come up and then turn your body in this circle. So I'm allowing my hip to come into the wall as I rotate. I come back to center. So my feet are still about four inches from the wall, allowing my shoulder to be light and then rotate your chest. If you feel any restriction in the shoulder, then two things. One, make sure that when you, once your arm comes up, that you're turning your torso before you take your arm around. The other is that you only work in a range of motion that feels smooth and good for you. We have lots of time. You can practice this. Turn your torso, turn your torso, then your arm goes, and you come up and all the way in. Let's pivot to the other side, and it's literally just a pivot. Your inside foot is about four inches from the wall. Your shoulder's lightly touching the wall. As you breathe in, your arm comes up, and now turn your body, and then your arm moves. Arm comes up, take a breath. Turn your body and bring it down. Inhale, arm meets shoulder. Exhale, turn your body. Use the wall as feedback to where you are in space. Arm comes up and facing forward. One more time. Inhale, so good to rotate. Again, if we're sitting at a desk, our back can get all stiff and tight. And so just to simply move our spine in all these directions is fabulous and bring it down. So let's activate our side hip. So we're gonna stand and put your, um, your hip against the wall so your feet are maybe three inches from the wall and you can let this arm just come up or bring it around your chest. We're gonna bring your inside leg up and what we wanna do is press the thigh, side of your thigh into the wall and then with this outside hip, this is the side we want to work, you want to straighten the leg and lift. So what we're doing is as we press into the inside wall, this glute activates and then you relax. And again, press your thigh into the wall, feel that glute activate, take a breath, hold for four, three, two, one, and relax option to keep this arm to get a little more activation through the side muscle. Press your thigh into the wall. Feel that side hip for four, three, two, one, and relax. And one more time. How's that glute feeling? Go ahead, press the thigh and knee into the wall, keeping your spine strong. This glute responds to keep you balanced and then bring that leg down. Oh yeah, that's a good one. All right, so we're gonna stand with your inside foot two to three inches from the wall. You'll know if you need to adjust it at all. The inside arm can be out front or you can bring it around your body. Bringing your leg up above hip height, take your thigh and press it into the wall. Now let this knee be a little bit relaxed, looking straight ahead, take a breath in, notice how your core activates right away, and then press the inside of your thigh into the wall. And can you feel this glute engage? Now lift up a little bit higher. I'm not locking my standing knee, but I want to get a sense of lift. And then you relax. Again, press your thigh into the wall. Lift your spine tall. Notice those abdominals come on to support. And can you feel that glute activate? Lifting up tall through your body. And then relax. Inhale, exhale, press your thigh into the wall. Get a sense of lift from your side hip. Another breath in. And relax. And we'll go one more time. Press the side thigh into the wall. Lifting through the side hip. Take a breath in. And exhale to relax. Good. So now I'm going to be having my back to you and we're going to be working a little through the shoulder girdle and through your tricep. So you're going to take your forearms and place them on the wall and step your feet back so you're in what we call a reverse plank. Elbows are slightly below shoulder height. Now let your sternum relax towards the wall and then using your forearm and elbow, firm 
push your sternum away from the wall. Let your sternum relax into the wall, and then push your sternum away from the wall. When you push your sternum away from the wall, notice your shoulder blades, how they widen, shoulders soften, spine lengthen. One more time. Let your sternum come into the wall, and then press your sternum away from the wall. Do a few more like that, and I'm just going to change the angle of my camera so that you can see me a little more from the side of you. Good. All right. Now, let's see how we go there. Perfect. Good. So one more time, sternum comes into the wall, and your sternum comes away from the wall. Now, walk your feet out a little bit more and bring your elbows down just a little lower than the shoulders and find that push so your sternum is away from the wall and your abdominals are drawn in. And we're just going to straighten your elbows and then come in slowly, let your elbows simply fold into the wall. So this is a great exercise to condition shoulder stability. So your elbows fold into the wall, take a breath in, and exhale, press away. So it's like, a, it's a tricep push-up, but the access to that is through the stability of your mid-back. So your elbows come in, and you press away, and every time you exhale, we call it blow and go in our studio. We think shoulders down, abdominals in. So you're using your exhale to quickly check in with your positioning, your alignment, and your stability. Let's do two more. Press away. And come back in. Good. And press away and come back in, good. Now keep your arms straight, walk your feet back and wide, and just sit your hips back. Keep your hands stuck to the same spot and just open through your chest. Round your back to come up to stand, take another breath in, and exhale. Hands are glued to the wall, knees bend, chest opens forward. And then come back up, and one more time, using your breath, open and extend, and reach it all the way up. So, there's a quickie for an office break. I hope that felt good. If you have any questions, you can just send me a note or leave a comment below, and I will get back to you.